Royalty. Good morning, Internet. It's Monday, J July uh, 17th, I think. Um, I got here light, late last night, uh, crashed at my friend's house. Uh, I'm in Steubenville, Ohio, a place where I've never been before. And if you're Catholic and you wind up in Steubenville, you got to check out Franciscan University. Uh, shout out to all my friends who are, who are Stubies who graduated from here. So I've never been here before. I'm going to look around. Uh, that building behind me looks pretty cool. So this should be fun. All right. Okay, so this building seems to be an athletic complex. I just walked past a gym where they are a bunch of students, I guess, you know, working out on machines and everything. This, you know, these are um, all their athletic teams and everything. I did not know that the, uh, that the team name for Franciscan University is the Barons, but I guess that makes sense because Steubenville is named after um, a German, Baron von Steuben, who was kind of the drill sergeant for the Continental Army during the, uh, during the American uh, War for Independence. There seems to be a, uh, some sort of summer conference going on right now. I see tables set up and everything. And then I was a little excited to see this right here, Missionary Image of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And it's pointing to this room. And Our Lady of Guadalupe, Missionary Image. And she's not in there. That's a bit of a bummer. I guess that just means she's out doing missionary work at this very moment, which is awesome. Alrighty, so here on, here on uh, Franciscan University campus, this is cool. Um, so a couple friends of mine told me about this place here. That is a replica of the uh, Porziuncola Chapel. So the real one is in Italy, uh, is in Assisi. And so the story is uh, St. Francis of Assisi back in the day was uh, praying in this chapel in his hometown uh, of, of Assisi and a crucifix spoke to him and said, Francis, rebuild my church. And um, that's the San Damiano crucifix, which um, yeah, I would show it to you, but there are people praying in there right now. I'm not going to interrupt them. Um, so yeah, so this is a replica of the chapel where uh, St. Francis had that experience. And it's cool. Uh, apparently during the school year, they have uh, perpetual adoration in there, which is awesome. Um, so yeah. And then this right here is is really cool. This here is really cool and really sobering. Um, the Tomb of the Unborn Child, it's called. And, um, he, and here lie the bodies of abortion victims. And, they, and it gives their names. Francis, Claire, Agnes, Jeremiah, Michael, Andrew, Joseph. Um, and it's a reminder. And they're they're uh, interred here and it's a reminder to pray for the repose of their souls and for everybody, you know, all the children who are victims of abortion, the millions since um, 1973 and even before, I suppose. Um, that's, anyway, it's, re it's really sobering and we can never forget them. Alrighty, I was just down in the uh, Franciscan University bookstore and this, and this awesome uh, lady struck up a conversation with me and we were talking and I wish I'd been recording at the time. Um, her reaction when I told her that I was from DC and driving to Alaska was priceless. It was hilarious. Um, but we got to talking and we, we, got, we got along great and um, so she started telling me among, among many other things, she was telling me about a uh, a mission, a Russian mission that uh, operates in like Siberia and Vladivostok that is based in the Archdiocese of Anchorage and that she's um, in somehow involved with because like she is an online Russian tutor and um, anyway it was, it was really cool, it was a really small world and just you know, a little show of God's providence in action so hey Besides God's mercy, there is no other source of hope for mankind. St. John Paul II. So, this is apparently the Franciscan U student library. And then, this is the main student square here. So apparently that building where I was earlier, I went in the back door. Um, uh, 
It's named the Finnegan Field House. This is the John Paul II Library. And then that is the J.C. Williams Center. Not sure what's in there. But down the hill here is Noon Mass, which is starting in a couple minutes, which is awesome. So I'm going to be well, I'm departing uh, Steubenville a few hours later than I had originally planned. But that's all good. It means I get to go to Mass first. And let's see. I'm going to turn around real quick. Here we are. Okay. So I think this is Christ the King Chapel here. And you can see that is like the iconic Franciscan University of Steubenville cross. So Mass is starting in a couple minutes. Alrighty, so that was awesome. Um, I just got out of uh, noon Mass here at the uh, Franciscan University Chapel. You see it there? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, it was amazing. Um, during the summertime, you know, presumably classes aren't in session, the whole chapel was packed with people, which I thought, which I have found really surprising. And uh, I walked in there and uh, um, saw two or three priests, you know, in their uh, in in their mass vestments, and figured, well, I guess I'm in the right place. And then the uh, as mass was starting and people were coming in, who sat on like directly across the aisle from me, but the uh, great and inimitable Dr. Scott Hahn. That was awesome. Uh, I actually wound up receiving communion right after him, which is cool. Uh, a part of me was hoping to say hi to him after mass, but then he uh, he stayed in the chapel to pray a little bit, and I, di I didn't see him after that. So, well, no, but that's no biggie. Um, Anyway, my first ever visit to Steubenville and checking out Franciscan University. The place is cool, uh, but I must press on. I've got to get to Saint, I've got to get to St. Louis tonight. Um, anyway, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hope y'all are doing well. God bless you all, and peace out.